ever thought of starting a car wash business or maybe you have one definitely yes so join me today as we speak to rogers who has been owning a car wash business for close to eight years now and is going to tell us the success story of a successful car wash business despite being in a competitive environment my name is Raja Pfeiffer. I come to Kenya to open a car wash. It sounds like a crazy idea. So one day, uh, somebody from Mombasa comes to Germany. He, he's a German, he's also from Germany. And uh, he looked around and he said, Raja, this is what we need in Kenya. I was never in Kenya before. So I was thinking about uh, Kenya, a yeah, car wash in Kenya. I saw all these big cars. And I say, and there is no automatic car wash. Then I thought, why? Maybe there must be a reason why there is not an automatic car wash. Because of the technical knowledge of the, also the maintenance, this and this and this. Then I thought, okay, power is a problem, water is a problem. It being a business that has caught the attention of young people, he recalls on how the business backfired during the first attempt. It was a small issue about uh, land, because I was a tenant, and uh, then we was closed for around about 18 months. No business, nothing. The car wash was there, but we can't operate. I like my job. I like my customers. I like if one of my workers or some of my workers say, ah, boss, you know, now I have a nice apartment. Uh, I have a newborn. My family is growing because we can count on you. The car wash business being one of the most driving businesses in Kenya, there has to be a lot of competition. Therefore, he has much moved prone to thrive his business. Yeah, we have now around about 25 people who are working for us. So a lot of people say, ah, these automated car washes, they will take away the, the, the work for us people. But it's not, tr it's not true because 25 people in one car wash is a lot of people who are, get good money, who are, have bread, food for home, who can pay the rent and all this. The automatic car wash take up to seven minutes, depending on the level you choose. He says this does not limit manpower. We are here now for eight years, and um, the only challenge we really has is uh, before we have water from from Nairobi water. Now since two years, and uh, now we must buy water with trucks. In every business, there has to be things that work with others through a wrench in the wheels of success. He thus tells us about a few challenges facing the business. We import our detergents, we have the right detergents for the car wash, and um, which costs a little bit to import this, but it's worth. It's worth this because our customers are with us for eight years, a lot of them, and uh, so we see we are on the right way. Don't use any any products which are not really made. You can't wash a car with Omo. It's not possible. Uh, the specialized detergent meant for washing vehicles, he says, well, some can be found in the local stores. There are those that you need to import. Job opportunities have become a major challenge. Mm -hmm. If one wants to start a car wash business, what exactly is required of them? Maybe in terms of capital, in terms of knowledge and skills, mm -hmm. what do they require? Money. Money is the first thing. I know we have a, we have a lot of uh, people with good money and no ideas. I can say maybe two, three people goes together, really raise this money. The, 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 the knowledge is not so much because uh, if I can't do it, I call my people from US or from, from Greece. They come here, they help me to bring up. We make a planning for you, we make uh, uh, the planning, it means how big must be the car wash. Because we have car washes, they wash 160 cars in an hour. So don't over, don't make it too big. If you only wash, let me say, 20 cars in an hour or 10, you don't need a car wash for 120. So we plan them, we make uh, the, the layouts, where's the drive in, where's the drive out. But all this work can be done. To train these guys, you also train people who want to open a car wash. We are around, we are helping them. 
However, it takes more than fast hands and abundance of running water to ensure your car wash business bring back the expected returns. But the good news is that there is an auto wash car wash machine that comes equipped with the dryers, a standard and auto resetting brakes over your washrooms. This machine is now running since eight years, every day. Every day from eight to six, every day. And away from changing oil for the hydraulic, there's nothing else. And this machine is, uh, you can make it bigger, smaller. It's not one machine, it's always parts. You can take three meters, or two meters or one meter, two big brushes, three big brushes, it's always part of the, of the thing. In most of the car wash in Kenya, galoons of clean water are wasted daily, but to him, he recycles the water. If we have an underwater tank where the water flows out, then it's also filtered there and the dirty water goes out. The other water we can use again for the prep guns, for this, this way. He thus urges the national government to step up and handle the issue of lack of enough water, especially in Nairobi County. I also wrote, Mr. Zonko, what's about this water thing? You know, you come to Kenya, you invest a lot of money, and then once over all, there's no water. I understand if we have a time where there's no water. We have times there's no rain. We must all take care of our water. But two years, and the government don't, can do it in two years to not only to a car wash, also to the people to bring them water in their house, in the pipe. According to the Kenya Institute for Public Policy Research and Analysis, in March this year there were at least 2.5 million vehicles on the Kenyan roads. While the increasing number of cars on the Kenyan roads, car wash business in Kenya has attracted hundreds of youths into the business. Don't make the problems with, solve them with money, solve the problems with doing something better. Make an oil separator, make sure that the environment is taken care of. Moreover, there is expected to be an annual growth of 11%, that is 5 million more cars on the roads by 2030. It was quite insightful to speak to Eregitals, who has been in this industry for quite some 8 good years. And according to him, discipline has helped him throughout and for 8 good years he has kept cleanliness as his first priority. And as the wise man says, I have not failed, I have just found 10,000 ways to do things differently. Reporting for Ebu TV, I'm Jerry Njogu.